Hi guys, this is Anthony with you one more time. Recently I did a video where I showed you how to determine if your wire gauge was indeed correct. And in that video I made a reference to the wire gauge and current limits chart. Well, I realized that I did not include the chart in the video. I did tell you to search Google for the chart, but after giving it some thought, I realized that wasn't very good and uh, I needed to do a complete video where I provided you with the chart as well. And after giving it some thoughts, I'm like, what the, what's the point in doing a video where the user has to go out and search for additional information? Not that you won't go and search for additional information, but in that is just a simple chart. I felt like I needed to also include the chart in a video as well. Well, here we are. This is the chart right here I was referring to. This is the wire gauge and current limits chart. Well, looking at the chart, you can see the, the AWG gauge and the maximum amps for power transmission. Look at the chart right here. You can, um, of course, do a, a print screen or you can pause the video and uh, make a copy of this chart right here. So this is the chart rather that we're going to reference to get what wire gauge we need to use after we have calculated the current of our solar system. The wire gauge and current limit chart shows the current carrying capacity of copper wire. With careful engineering research and complex calculations, engineers have calculated to determine what gauge wire will carry a certain amount of current. And as you can see on the chart right here, with a really, really, really big wire, um, four zeros, then the maximum current it will carry is 302. Three zeros, 239. Or the double zeros, it's 190. Zero gauge wire is actually 150 amps. And this is the current carrying capacity. You can, I'm sure you can read the chart for yourself, so I won't necessarily go and read all these values. But you, this value just shows you the wire gauge and the current carrying capacity, the maximum current carrying capacity correlation. So I'm going to just bring back the calculation I did in my previous video where I showed you how to calculate the current of your solar system given the watts of your solar panels and the voltage. And also we considered two voltage systems. We considered a 12 volt system as well as a 24 volt system. So let's just bring the 12 volt system example in our picture right here. All right, here we go. So in this example, as I showed you in the previous video, I just want to recap just for completeness. We have a 200 watt solar panel system, or we have 200 watts of solar panels. We want to incorporate a 12 watt system with our 200 watts of solar panels. So once more, here is a calculation and the formula is current equals watts divided by volts. So we have 200 watts of solar panels and we are considering a 12 volt system. So you divide 200 by 12, which is equal to 16.6 amps. Now, if you look at the wire gauge and current limit chart, then 16 is not on this chart. There is 15 and of course there is 19. And the value on this side is the current. So after I've calculated the current here, I reference the chart to see what gauge wire falls in the range of the calculated current. So because 16.6 is not on this chart, I see 15 and I see 19, then I am going to round up. I'm going to look at the wire gauge for 19 amps of current. And in this case, the wire gauge chart tells me that I need a 9 gauge wire if I plan to deploy a 12 volt system with 200 watts of solar panels. So as you can see right here, the wire gauge needed to carry 16.6 amps according to the chart is indeed 
a 9 gauge wire. Let us go to the other example, which is a 20 volt volt system using the same 200 watts of solar panels. So here in this example, we have a 24 volt system that we want to deploy. We still have 200 watts of solar panel. So the formula is still the same. We will divide in this example 200 by 24, which is equal to 8.33 amps. So 200 divided by 24 equals 8.33 amps. If we reference the wire gauge and current limit charts, then 8.33 amps is not on the chart. I see 7.4 and 9.3. Now, because 8.33 amps is greater than 7.4 amps, we will go up to the next value. Because remember, we always want to round up in this case. So in this example, we are going to choose the current of 9.3 amps, which correlates to indeed a 12 gauge wire. So the, according to the chart, we will need at least a 12 gauge wire to carry 8.33 amps of current in a 24 volt system with 200 watts of solar panels. Now, here's the rule. The bigger the wire, the better the current carrying capacity. So if your calculated current is slightly above the range on the chart, go to the next higher gauge wire, always round up. And again, I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and comment. Any questions? please post them below and I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you for watching guys. This has been Anthony and have a great day.